episode six, I think. I don't know. I lost count. I think it's episode six. We'll call it episode six for this year. Oops, I'm in the wrong truck again. Episode six. <clears throat> okay, here we go. To the devil sand. Looks like the uh, head there is all bugging out. To the devil sand. Let's see if we turn the right spot and not get stuck. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Getting stuck for the win. Oh, right into the tree. Yeah, I'm more awake now than I was before. <clears throat> or maybe I'm less awake. Who knows? Evil branch. I have conquered the evil branch. Okay, yep, yeah, well, see, that's where I got stuck. One of the places anyway. We'll just turn and go over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the old uh, bugged up nose going. Welcome to winter. You know, these beaches should come with uh, beach goers. That's the other place I got stuck. <laughs> yeah, no editing here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, love this deforming train. This is pretty freaking awesome. And it's handy so you know where to drive the next time. Handy. Looks like I got stuck right there, so I'm going to turn left a little bit. I don't know call if I did or not, but whatever. <coughs> it's been a while since I made the last video. Screws across here. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to stop the truck. If I think this is the third. I'm not making the mistake of stopping on the sand again. That is not happening. Now I'll just wait. <clears throat> Damn. I'll just wait until I uh, get there. See if the game ends or not. over a branch. Sure. Yeah, why you can't winch over the branch? Because the branch is part of the winch point. Or part of a winch point. They're attached to the ground. That's why you can't winch over them. That's why you get, that's why you hit the darn things and you get stuck on them and go that way I might flip myself. I go that way I'll be pulling towards pulling the front one down. <coughs> I know because I've flipped myself enough with uh, winching. <laughs> Master of flipping himself. Yay! Turn, turn, don't hit the tree. No. Beautiful blue truck. Frogged in my throat. It won't go away. Yeah, I think this is the third load. No, it's like episode six, though, of this series. You know, some people number their episodes from beginning to end. Maybe I'll go through the YouTube list and just do that. Just worried they'll end up out of order. But whatever. <coughs> I don't 
dog here. Oh, hey, I have a brand new subscriber. That makes two. Now there's two of you. You guys can hold hands and stuff. Whee. And the mystery, is this the third load or the fourth load? Because I honestly don't remember. Let's find out. Third load. I gotta do it again. <coughs> Sorry if that's too loud, but I don't, I don't have a not, not a real fancy here, just an old headset with a microphone on it. In fact, I'm currently set up that the uh, the game sound is coming out of the speakers. I have no sound in my headset right now. Isn't that funny? <clears throat> Wish I could play music, but YouTube gets upset. It does get kind of boring just driving the truck. Especially when I know the game server guy's not going to quit. <laughs> nope, got myself unstuck. If you didn't see that video if you're just watching this one. I was on the beach. Empty truck like I have right now and I got myself thoroughly mired. I use the crane to get out. It's very frustrating. Of course, I was also really, really tired because I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep. So I decided to do something frustrating and play this game with this truck. <laughs> No, the Kraz is not made by Kraz, it's made by GAZ. Or it was made by GAZ. They, uh, oops. Uh -oh. I may have screwed the pooch. Think. <clears throat> see if I can lift out of here. I might get stuck on the crane. is for uh, counterbalance. watching this video you can see the other videos where I explained why I have the crane like that because see you have weight in front of the wheels the crane hanging off the back is weight behind the wheels helps uh, alleviate get weight off the front so you don't dig in as bad at least that's what the idea and you know if you've ever loaded crane er, little cranes if you ever load logs you know when you swing that crane around the truck shakes with the weight of the crane moving, so it does actually affect things. Now you can typically, you, know, you don't have to put these feet down necessarily, but uh, sometimes if you don't, and you swing a, lo a log around, <laughs> you're going to flip yourself over. So yeah, the weight it does does matter. Sometimes if you're if you're tipping and you have a crane, uh, you can stick the crane out to the opposite side of the tip. Like if you're like starting to tip to the left, you can put the crane hanging out to the right, and then you can drive forward 
instead of messing with the winch because sometimes when you winch you will uh, flip yourself that way too um, might be a little close on the uh, dip there it's not okay we're good thought that last night and then I got stuck for like an hour <laughs> Uh, however long that was, kind of seemed like an eternity actually. But hey, that's why it's on YouTube. It's a good thing when I was a child there wasn't uh, YouTube or cell phones or camera phones. Somebody took a funny picture of you, it was usually after the fact, and you had to uh, you know, basically do the incident over again, and they took the picture, and then said, Oh yeah, I was there, I got this, what happened? Now you got that two hours later. <laughs> uh oh. Evil branches again. God, I love these evil branches. There's a winch point right there in the branches. That's why you get stuck on them, because the branches are actually attached to the freaking ground. can't see that I can see is uh, my twitch chat window is right here so it covers up the controls that's why last night when I went to release the winch I restored the green bed state because it, it I can see through it it's kind of smoky but it's not you know, it's kind of dark feel up episode I did not have the fuel truck here but then I uh, have a problem with the keyboard uh, the crane to rotate the head is the R and T like Tom keys R and T and the keyboard sometimes those keys don't work because uh, <sighs> somebody was gluing something and dropped some glue in there and even though it's hardened and chipped out, it still screws up the keys. It's just those two. Oh, and my uh, uh, right arrow key on the, where the four arrows are. <laughs> yeah, I got that key all. all uh, that one's, that's mucked up. <laughs> I know keyboards are cheap, but for the most part, still work. And it sits at the right angles for my hands for when I actually type. Yes, I can type with all my fingers. Not just one or two. Of course, when I signal my appreciation to people, then I just use a finger. Readjust the seated position. Clean. Drive it down the road. I like to call it a, a joking gesture to a YouTube friend of mine. That's an Arthur stopping device. <laughs> yeah, it stops it. It's kind of neat making friends with some of these people on YouTube and seeing their, their early videos versus the, the quality videos they're putting out now. You know, you talk even uh, Jack septic eye one of his first videos I was like I thought I was lame now that guy's the number four youtuber of, well, of uh, current status he's ranked fourth I don't agree with the number one ranking but that's just of course the number one guy makes 27 million dollars a year off of YouTube ah <sighs> that would be nice But, I don't know. 
obviously would have been easier if I had the diff locker on. Oops. <laughs> go, try go. Got him up to two subscribers. And two now, two. And only one of them's family. <laughs> I think I have three followers on Twitch, but the problem is when I'm live on Twitch, yeah, it's really funny, when I'm live on Twitch, it's like, uh, the software I'm using is free, and it doesn't record when it's streaming, so I usually have my best gaming moments when I'm on Twitch, which really sucks. <laughs> So I'm going to work on making an intro to my videos and show the you know, things I've done, but the best things I've done happen when I'm not recording. Like when I drove the, uh, parked that fuel truck over there when it was empty on the way to get fuel, I hit a bump and the thing jumped in the air and I'm like, oh, that would have been so great if I was recording that, but I wasn't recording it. And of course when I am recording it, nothing fun happens. Like one multiplayer game I was in that wasn't recording. So I don't want to offend anyone I'm playing with. In case they see it. Do something stupid in the game or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> the guy needed help and I had a 4320 with a crane on it pulling a medium trailer. So I dropped the medium trailer and disconnected it. Watch out for that rock on the right. Uh oh. And I went to help the guy, he was stuck. He was pulling a garage trail into a garage, and he was on the coast map, the far garage near the objective. And uh, he turned too soon to get in there. So he got himself fired on the bottom of the trailer. And I was near him, so I just unhooked my medium trailer and cruised over there, saw the position he was in, tried to get, so I thought, oh, I'll just go in front of him. So I jumped, so I drove the truck up over the bank and the truck jumped. And I've tried and tried and tried to replicate that jump. I just can't get it done. I don't know what the heck was different that day, but the truck literally the whole thing went in the air. It was pretty freaking spectacular. My brother was here, he saw me do it. He was like, you should, are you recording? And I said, no, I'm not recording. <laughs> he said, well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it does. <laughs> Jumped the whole freaking thing in the air, and I could, you know, say it here on YouTube, but there's no video, so it didn't happen. No pictures. No pictures, it didn't happen. No photographic proof, it could not possibly happen. Right, right. Oh, <laughs> I keep putting the truck in there. Keep pushing the Q button, and I'm like, why am I not in, uh, why am I not in, uh, diff lock here? What the heck? Yeah. Ah, it's because you're not in low range, that's why. Right. Talking too much and not driving. <laughs> not paying attention to what I'm doing. Speaking and driving, don't do it. It's almost as bad as texting and driving. Yay, I missed the hole. Oh, night time again. Come on. Turn, baby, turn. Turn, turn. <coughs> yeah, hey, did y'all see that uh, Val Kilmer announced that uh, on his Facebook page? He signed up for Top Gun 2. We can do fly wheelchairs. <laughs> Not picking up Val Kilmer, but uh, fighter pilots usually stop being the fighter pilots around 30, around age 30 or so. I'm pretty sure Val Kilmer and Tom Cruise are a little bit older than 30. Not 
Now granted, I mean, as long as they pass their flight qualifications, they can be fighter pilots forever. And since uh, the Top Gun school in real life closed down years ago, I kind of wonder where they're, what they're going to be doing. Unless it's going to be like the uh, Iron Eagle movies. Although they are bringing back the two of the main characters, main actors. The Iron Eagle movies they didn't, because the guy was busy doing other things. And then he uh, pretty much disappeared off the uh, radar. Don't even remember his name. Oh, stop rolling. I'm not ready. I'm playing on a keyboard. I can't move my fingers that fast. Actually, I switched the shifter. <laughs> Come on. Crossbuck. NG, no good. No, am I stuck on it? That's funny. Accidentally turned the wheels and I got myself unstuck. Figure that one out. I know I've got short laws, but still could have gotten it just to be safe. Spawn the wrong ones if you can get them out of the way. Well, there was one time where I had the uh, the truck in part was blocking the spawn. So spawn instead of spawning two logs, not in this series, different than the other player. It just spawned one log. And then I moved the truck and hit the spawn button again and just spawned one log because one was already sitting in there, I think. So that was kind of handy. Me and my mad crane skills. I love people in game to comment to me on. go from uh, doing it the old way and doing it the, the way the crane used to be to doing it now it's uh, a heck of a lot easier Drives me nuts that it turns. Eh, it's pretty much straight out the back. Okay. Click the screen. We're in gear. Breaks off. Charge into the button. Stop. Yay! Yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating to drive this truck because it doesn't have the front drive axle. But, it's in the game, it's a challenge, why not? That gives me something to do. Other than review uh, mods, which is what I was actually planning on doing. But since I can't really Oh, there it is. It's gonna say how I was stuck on a tree. <laughs> Found it. 
<laughs> Found a tree. It's right there in the bumper. Come on, rotate around it. Come on. Wedge off of it. There we go. Yeah, spintires.nl or go on Facebook. No, I'm gonna stick on. Caught another tree in there. Someone caught another tree. Uh, or go on Facebook and look up uh, Spin Tires mods. They're still releasing mods or releasing them for the current version of the game. But uh, you can use the mods. I don't know if there is a workaround yet for being able to use them in multiplayer. I've seen multiplayer people using maps, but when you go on, to, when you go to play multiplayer, you don't know if the person's got a legacy version of the game or if they reverted back to the last version of the game. Uh, might be. You know, you can load up mods and play them privately. Like, right now, I'm not doing it. But there is a way to modify this truck to make this truck better. But what would be the point in making this video if I did that? Because you can go in, you can change the, the way the tires react to the uh, mod. Not as well as it used to be able to, but you can do it now. Now in the in the file there, it's uh, was it? It's highway traction or off road traction? And I'm assuming these tires are set for off road traction. But there's uh, um, you can change their softness. You can change the uh, let's see what I think. Crap, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> used to be the way they were and actually if you google it just google spin tires tweaks t-w-e-a-k-s tweaks um, you should it should pop up a, I don't remember the field of rocks because I'm going to the right that's why it should pop up a page that shows a whole bunch of stuff that used to be in the files for the trucks but since they're doing the workshop. They've uh, changed it so that we can't. Those of us that do some modding, I, I I can't make models. I don't have the software. But I could go in to the files and change the, the regular trucks, change the statistics, how they operated, and how the tires reacted to the ground actually is more accurate. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I just jacked the speed up. Oh no, that's not. Going, you know, spinning your wheels is not changing the traction, it's just spinning your wheels. Now, some people might say, spinning your wheels with authority. Yeah, no, that's not. See, what we could do is we could, we could uh, go in there and tweak how the tires gripped the uh, surfaces. And um, that also changed your fuel economy. So a lot of guys did is they, they, they tweaked one number but not both numbers. There's multiple numbers with two main numbers to deal with. <laughs> they would tweak the one and they'd be like, oh, the truck's unplayable now. It's using 100 liters a minute. Yeah, it's because you tweaked it the wrong way, dummy. <laughs> Tweak the wrong number. There's a formula. You could have these trucks able to climb up any hill and only use a liter a minute. Well, now they, they've changed it for the workshop. So the tires are more generic. It goes by the. You can even change the, the mass of the tires, the individual tires. But now it's just um, like light medium heavy, super heavy, 
the Kirovitz has super heavy tires. Uh, most of these trucks just have heavy tires. The UAZ has light tires. So that's curious. I went in and I looked at all that. Um, didn't look at these tires, so I'm assuming these are heavy tires. Kind of diff-lock on that dipshit. Oh, it's Oregon. Oh, this is perplexing. I have no freaking winch points. Oh, maybe rotating the truck sideways like that. Nice. Watch out then. There we go. That's a tricky spot there because the ground tilts. And there's kind of a hole to the right, so if you hit that wrong, you're going to slide down that hole and then you'll be, uh, be having more fun. Or that frustrating get out of a hole. Um, yeah, the way the tires are now, the XMLs, um, you could, it used to be changed you know, all the torque, torque rings for all the gears, change the speed of the truck. Um, you could change how the, uh, trucks accelerated like in my case since I use a keyboard from the moment you hit the, the acceleration how long it would take for the truck to actually start turning you could adjust it on the truck you could adjust it with the tires and, and there's a whole bunch of numbers involved and in how well back then how the tires were how the trucks went through the terrain that's why with this latest update they want to implement the workshop I don't know the specifics of the workshop, but I'm thinking that they're probably going to let us put whatever tires we want on any truck we want. Because the, the, the thing they have to do, the main thing they have to do is that the models all have to be the same for multiplayer. If this game weren't multiplayer, then you could do whatever the heck you want to do anytime you want to. But in multiplayer, you know, Everybody's got to have the same tires. So a lot of people who have mods don't understand because they'll get modded tires for a vehicle and they'll figure out how to put the modded tires on a regular truck and they'll get in a multiplayer game and choose those tires from the, the garage and then oops, the game will crash. And then everybody will be screwed because the game will crash and then well, it'll just be the game over for the other people. Because the model will be different than you're trying to load. And only you have that model, so it just it won't work. And a lot of these guys that play with the mods, they don't understand that. And hey, honestly, I took the regular trucks and I made them grip. I, I fussed with the tires and I fussed with everything on them. But I had those tires so tweaked that they reacted the way they would react in real life where you could have one tire spinning like it would turn, stop, turn, stop, turn, stop and the other tire on the other end of the axle would actually be spinning which that does happen in real life and this game, you know, they're doing the best they can, but of course they have to balance everything. Let's see. Yeah, I got enough fuel to get there, but just to be safe, in case I get stuck again. Yeah, I had them very, very well tweaked for, uh, oh, engine was on. <laughs> And pretty well tweaked. Which is funny because like two weeks, I think it was, before the uh, game updated, it's when I started playing again and I started messing with the tires. Or I had been messing with the tires when I stopped playing. Right into the tree. I get points for that, right? Crashing into the tree. Is it? 
YouTube and those kind of stupid things do. Oh, crash the other tree. Or not. Gosh darn it. So I get for looking away for a second. So I wanted to go this way. Yeah, you know, I, I play with mods. Of course I play with mods. But I've driven off-road for real. I've driven commercial motor vehicles off-road. <laughs> I've driven vehicles off-road that weren't meant to be driven off-road. And now that I'm near the end of this, I have a story to tell, but I'm near the end of this video. The goal is almost reached. It's like the one video where I told a nice little story and got to the end of the video and sat there. I'm probably going to be stuck. Finished up the story. And then the video didn't save right. It got all corrupted. And my whole darn video, 43 minutes and all, ended up being a complete waste of time. Because the video got all kinds of corrupted. I don't know what the heck happened there, but... No, I did not re redo it. That video is lost. I'm going to find a bear in the front of me. Why not? One thing i got to watch with having that crane sticking out the back is when the back end goes down, if that crane hits the ground, it's going to lift up the back of the truck a little bit, make the wheels hang, and then you'll have less traction. Or I'll have less traction. Less ability to go. And you can see, I, I'm not editing this. I've been through here enough freaking times. Oh, I knew that too. I should have gone over there. Should have gone more to the left. But, didn't take damage, didn't stop. I'm gonna stop. A little bit was gonna stop. It kinda seemed like it was gonna stop, but it didn't stop. Yeah. I was gonna say that guy's playing that game, like, Wait a minute, did I friend request him? I don't remember friend requested that one. <laughs> Not that he gets the guy, it's just... Don't remember, oh yeah, yeah I did. Well, obviously, duh. Oh, no, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Almost to my goal. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It's actually rather pain in the ass to do this, but... Got it done. Yeah, now, you see, there's a branch there, branch there, branch here, branch here, branch here. Now, those are winch points. Those are solid objects as far as the game's concerned. And these branches, when you hit them, it will stop your truck. Unless your truck's going fast enough to go over them. Or, you know, you'll take damage or, or the branches will, like rotate on that spot. Because the game considers that a fixed point. It's a winch point. It's a fixed point. It's a hard point. That's why we take damage when we hit some of these branches. Other branches we don't. So there's people going around saying, Oh, no, no, they took away the damage. They took away the damage. Well, no, they didn't. It's just, uh... Yeah, see, I'm right against that branch up there. Another branch on the other side. <sighs> yep. This probably doesn't really work too well. I can get stuck. Yeah, see. Ready to get some freaking branch. It's kind of why they made the stumps breakable. Now it's under the truck. Oh, that was brilliant. Way to go, dude. Mr. YouTube expert. <laughs> well, I've never... So, see? See that? That's a hard point right there. You can winch to it. It's a hard point. I can 
sit here all day digging holes. Back of the truck's going down. You finally get to this point, almost to delivering the, uh, the fourth and final load of the series. Give up. Just kidding. I'm not giving up yet. Wonder. Go from here. Now the reason I chose that one is that when it pulls, it should realistically pull this down in that way. Whereas this one it might pull it the leverage on this side of the truck might pull it, might cause the truck to tip. Of course, it might tip, pull it the way I'm pulling it anyway, but we'll see. Yeah, look at that. The branch just turned. Now, that branch is on a hard point, but it just turned with the truck. How the heck they figured that out? Truck back and forward, cause you're not that stupid. Okay. Come on. Eh, see, it wasn't too bad. I just had to figure it out without flipping the truck over by winching it, <laughs> which I've done enough times, long before my YouTube days. I'm still pressing the F key like I'm winching. <laughs> okay. Come on. See, now I'm hooked to this one, but the winch point's above. I mean, it's really above the truck. It's above the axis of flipping it. Now if I were to that side, yeah, I'll show you. To this side, oops, it'll pull it up like that, right? That side, it'll still pull it up, but not as dramatically. See? Or, maybe it will. <laughs> okay. Back end, it'll probably tip or two. What the heck happened to my tire? God, look at that. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. <laughs> that was just a graphic. Try that direction. I should have did that in the first place. But I wanted to be a little bit educational. Of course, one thing you can do with, when you have a crane is put the crane out. I'll show you when I get out of here. Since I don't need the crane hanging back where it is. situation or restore it so it works better. Okay, say you're you're tipping to that side like I was. What you can do swing the crane out and then put it down keep you from tipping. And then uh, hopefully you can still go forward like that. Now, having the crane in the ground like that, it's going to add friction. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It will add friction to when you're trying to move. But it'll also keep you from tipping. 
of course swinging the crane around if you're already in a precarious tipping angle sort of situation might cause you to tip. You gotta be real freaking careful. Especially since they increase the speed that the thing moves. They used to not be as fast as they are now. Which I think is something people whined about. Oh, in real life they work a lot faster. Well, yeah, in the game they don't because they don't want you flipping yourself over by just moving the crane around. Because the crane itself has weight. It's, uh, well, that crane's got its own kind of weight to it. And, that, you know, with the physics, when you swing it around, the truck swings. It shifts left and right. It's actually a very well thought out game with so many people was I go a little faster. <laughs> so many people whine. Oh, it doesn't have this feature, doesn't have that feature. Hey, it's got a lot of features that you're not going to find in other games. You know, the vehicles take damage. They take damage in specific places. That was, That's not original to the game. They took damage, but... Like in a video one of the other episodes, I had this leg, it looked like it was twisted, it was squished, it was cracked, because I was trying to help get myself unstuck, and I was damaging the leg, so I was trying to use the leg to keep the truck from falling back, kind of thing, because th this leg was useless, the way the truck was positioned, positioned, ah. positioned. and this leg was taking all kinds of damage. You know, the, the vehicles actually deform. Uh, last night, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Of course, you're, you know, if you play the game, you already know this. But last night, this part of the windshield was bent into the truck. <laughs> Not dramatically, but enough to, I was like, what's going on there? Is that light reflecting off of that? No, it was actually pushed in. <laughs> oh, excuse me, which is the first time I saw that. Kinda weird. And here we are, the last. The last load. Yay! Three hours, eight minutes. All that. This is traveling 12.08 kilometers. And that's how you know I didn't stop and restart. <laughs> Actually, I did originally because uh, I had to take my keyboard apart and I quit out of the game by mistake, or quit out of, um, yeah, I quit out of the game by mistake, instead of leaving it in the game, well, I fixed the keyboard, and, uh, had to start over, because it, uh, <sighs> what happened? Oh, I quit out of everything. <laughs> that's right, that's what I did. I wasn't thinking. Now let's take old Faithful for a swim. She did her job for God and country, and now we're gonna take her and dump her in the water. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! dun. Eh, just kidding. I wouldn't do that to a Faithful truck. Wow. And here ends episode. Uh, whatever number I'm on. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Hopefully you learned some things about winching. And, uh... I can't go underneath. Yeah, this truck is, uh... Does not have a drive axle under the front end. Which... Sucks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>